star code for MB. Hey everyone, in today's video, we'll talk about 14 annoyances in Bloxburg that may ruin your day. Now, I'm not responsible for how you feel after this video. Let's get started with number one. Number one, floor peeking through the side. So, you know, if you build an overhang, if you have the multiple floor game pass that is, and you create an overhang or just a floor, you can see the underside of the floor and it's really annoying, especially at the edge because you can clearly see what kind of floor it lays on top and what kind of floor is used on the ceiling and that really triggers a lot of people, including me. Number two, the smallest of basic shapes cannot go against each other. Now with that I mean is they will never be able to touch sides if you use the smallest basic shape. This is especially annoying if you create a custom wall or a custom window and you want to add two pieces on each side. For example, one for your interior color, one for your exterior color and material. They can never touch each other, so you will always have a gap in the middle and that is really triggering, especially if you're narrowly building something and that really triggers people. Especially connecting it to a normal wall, it pops out a little bit, you cannot move it in further. So yeah, that's kind of triggering. It's a hassle to work with the smallest basic shape. Number three, getting stuck in a door. So we all been there probably where you open and close your doors too fast. I don't know if I'll be able to recreate it, but I'll try and explain it as best as possible. Basically what happens is you open or you close your door too fast. And with that, <laughs> you get stuck in the door and you basically are horizontal in the door. Your head is coming out one side, your body is coming out the other side. It's quite a funny side, but there you are stuck in a door. You need to wait until you drop or your character resets. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> But that's what this video is all about. Number four, can't load object. Now this is especially annoying if you build something in detail. For example, if you have built a roof in your basement to create a landscape, on top of that you put a bunch of trees, you build something on there, you have like detailed basic shapes on there, and then one time you join Bloxburg and it's like, you cannot load this object floor. The blah 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 will get removed, you will get so many dollars, and if it says like over ten thousand dollars, you know it's messed up. Every time you join a new game, you cannot load that same roof or that same floor and everything on it will be removed. And that's such a pain. My goodness. I had that once where I built an entire house and it was resting on like a roof or something like that. I don't clearly remember it, but I did something kind of detailed. I'm not a detailed builder, but I did something kind of detailed and then I rejoined the game and that object couldn't load and I lost everything that was resting on top of that. That was so annoying. I think it was just the floor actually. I think it was the floor, like my second floor, the floor wouldn't load and I used the same floor throughout the entire second floor. And so I lost everything that was on top of that second floor. I did not cry. I was close, but I was super annoyed. <laughs> Number five, driving your car into the river or the see. This is really annoying. You're driving to a friend on the other side of the map. You look away for two seconds and you're in the river and you cannot get out. Your car is completely stuck. Now, the most annoying time when this happens for me personally is when I'm doing pizza delivery and I look at Netflix or I'm listening to Spotify or doing something else in the meanwhile because I do get bored very easily doing pizza delivery. Literally, I look away for two seconds. My pizza vehicle is in the river and I haven't even delivered that pizza so you need to reset quit your job or at least walk home if you don't want to reset but resetting is the easiest option but honestly if you reset and then you have to start over your job you lose even more motivation to continue and like if you want to work for a very long time and then you drop into the river you're like you know what no I'm ending this here I'm not continuing with this let my car be in the river I'm going home, bye. <laughs> Number six, naked NPCs. Now, we've seen this happen a lot less because of changes Roblox made, but a while ago, we used to see a lot of naked NPCs in Bloxburg, and it's just a little bit weird when you go up, for example, to the ice cream vendor, and then there's a row of 20 naked people waiting for the ice cream. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't have a lot to say about it. It's just, I don't know. It was kind of weird to see like people with the girl bun hair and then the pink mustache, but then no clothes. That was 
That confused me for a second. Number seven, another really annoying one is when you are building together with a friend, so you're in co-owner on your friend's plot or your friend is building on your plot, you're building together and you're each doing something different and you start undoing items. For example, you build something with basic shapes, easiest example, but you messed up. So you start undoing, but nothing happens. And suddenly you see your friend yell in chat that you have undone. A lot of what they did, that's really annoying because you cannot undo what you have just built but you're undoing your friend's build and oh my god the amount of fights that have started from that it's an insanely annoying thing that happens and especially because at first you're like confused you're like why does undo not work but then suddenly you see your friend yell in chat and you're like oh right i undid their stuff mm. number eight getting your pizza delivery vehicle stuck on a sidewalk i think it happened to a lot of us where we are delivering pizza we go back to the pizza place and then we get stuck on the sidewalk it's a really annoying thing that happens what you need to do you can easily fix this is you need to drive back and then straight ahead cross the sidewalk because otherwise you will just be stuck on it forever some people drive around the entire thing i choose to do that method but yeah it's really annoying when you get stuck on the sidewalk and then you need to drive back it kind of takes you out of your flow in a way. Number nine, messing up your floors, especially in detailed houses where there's a lot of nooks and crannies. Messing up your floors can be so annoying, my goodness. So for example, you're connecting a lot of dots and then you're like, yes, my floor is done. You start painting it and you see that the pattern is completely messed up where you probably have a diagonal floor somewhere that you didn't notice and it messed up your entire floor. Now, this used to be worse a few years ago. Webtus did update the floors after that, but it still happens and it is still annoying when it happens. Luckily, a lot less than it used to happen because that was terrible. Number 10, this is a small annoyance, but seeing your friends fly or hover over a moped. So sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I don't exactly know when it happens, but sometimes when you see people ride on a moped, they're actually flying above it or they're inside of the moped. They're never on top of the seat. And it's kind of weird when that happens because sometimes you see someone pass and they're like flying halfway over their <laughs> moped and it just looks a little bit weird. It's a small annoyance, as I said. It's not something that triggers me or something like that. Number 11, changing to a baby, for example, for a role play and forgetting to change back while well, coming back to Bloxburg a day later. That was a long point, wasn't it? But honestly, it is so annoying when you're like, you turn into a baby, you leave the game and then you come back to an empty plot like days later or a week later, you're still a baby. So that means you have to go into decorate and then purchase a closet, change into that closet. It's just a little annoyance that, I don't know, it's, yeah, it's just annoying, I guess. I don't know what else I was gonna say about that, but it's really annoying when that happens. Number 12, and luckily this only happens once or twice, but making a flower perk and then noticing that your flowers are withering and dying. I had that once. I made an entire flower perk. I had like stairs with flowers on them and they were like scattered everywhere. So sprinklers didn't really help much. And then the flowers started withering and that was so annoying. And you know what? I kind of miss being able to have like windowsill flowers or like the, yeah, the flowers you put on the windowsill. I don't know what to call them in English, but you know what I mean. Putting that on the second floor, you can't really put a sprinkler or if you do it on the first floor and you put a sprinkler, the water comes inside the house. It's really annoying and I hate it so much. But yeah, flowers that die is definitely an annoyance. <laughs> Number 13 is resetting and getting stuck in a loading loop. So sometimes when you reset or you go into main menu, you get that little loading menu as usual. So the little buffer thingy, but sometimes you get stuck in it and then you wait for like five minutes or 10 minutes until you realize, you know what? This actually isn't loading at all. And then you have to rejoin and reload everything. And oh my gosh, that is annoying because you have been stuck waiting there for a while. And then you realize you have to rejoin and you're like, oh God, no, not this. And then moving to number 14, if you zoom in to a car or a moped, you will realize that the wheels are actually not attached to anything. So your vehicle is actually floating above the wheels. There is nothing that attaches the wheels to the vehicle. You can clearly see that in a moped where you can clearly see the pedal part of your wheel, but it is not connected to anything. Of course, that's part of the game. Like if you were to connect it, it would probably look weird, but it's just, I don't know. It's weird to see that 
if you actually look at it. And it's something that you cannot unsee. So I'm sorry for that last point. But anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. If there are more things that annoy you, let me know in the comments below. It's definitely fun to complain. So <laughs> let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.